Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to weave in the ends on your uh, needle tatting work. Uh, I had a message uh, coming from Markiri Massey and from Donna, let me see her last name, Fer Ferguson. And they, they asked me, how do you weave in your ends? In some of my videos I do and some I don't just because I don't want to uh, take a lot of your time on the videos so I'm gonna use my one of my old uh, doilies that I practice on to show you how to weave in those ends so here I made a chain and then I made two rings and I had I have my tail right here and I actually cut about I don't know five inches from the the ball okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread my needle real quick just like that and I'm gonna look at my work and what I'm gonna look for is um, what's closer to the to the thread that I'm gonna weave in. So in this case, this ring is closer, right? And actually this side of my ring is closer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my needle and go in between the stitches, just like that. So you wanna go in right next to the knot the knot is right here, so the stitches start right here. So you're gonna start putting your needle through, and it's not always that easy, okay? So when you can't do it in this side, you need to find somewhere else, because you might be a tatter that tats really, really tight, and it's hard. So you can see, um, Weaving, I'm going inside my stitches, and then the back is they're not going in, so I gotta be careful with that. Here, let me try that again. Okay, so going to between my stitches, making sure the needle is going in between all the stitches. And you want to go up about, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, like six stitches. So if you switch, if you turn your, your work, you'll see the needle is in between my stitches, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the needle through. Okay. So I pulled it all the way. And now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to look at my stitches, and I'm sorry, it's hard to see, but, so my thread is coming out right here, oh, it's on the other side, sorry, so it's coming out right there, see, that's where we pulled out our needle, right there right and we pulled it all the way right so there's no loop over here okay this is this is my other thread we're not working with that one yet okay so here's our thread now we're gonna just go in between this double stitch so here's the thread Here's half of the double stitch, and then here's the full double stitch. We're gonna go in between this double stitch right there, right in between there, and we're gonna go back to heart where we started from. So, weaving in my needle, weaving it in, weaving it in. Oop. Don't go under. It keeps going under. Okay. 
almost there and you don't have to go all the way back but it's always nice okay so I'm just gonna push it pull it through pull it through keep pulling don't get tangled okay keep pulling keep pulling and there we go that's how you weave in your ends so at this time what you do very carefully you're gonna cut right very close to your stitches just making sure you don't cut your stitches okay and you're gonna do the same thing to your other tail the same thing you're gonna find somewhere closer so it can be in the inside ring on your chain anywhere that you can weave in I hope this uh, video answer answer uh, Macri and Donna's uh, question um, usually sometimes when I'm in a rush I don't go back especially if I'm gonna harden my my work but usually I do uh, thank you so much for watching and happy tanning.